In this video, we're going to be introducing the basics of math and why we need math for game design. So let's jump in. Okay, so I'm just going to go over some of the basic reasons as to why we need math in Unity. Now, Unity has a lot of built-in math functions, which we will be going over in a later video, that actually will do a lot of the complicated math for us. Well, there are a few reasons. For one, it can be very helpful when debugging your game, when you actually know what's going on in the back end, when you actually understand some of the math behind exactly what's happening in your code, you can more quickly and more easily determine where and how it is actually going wrong. There have been some cases where I discovered the cause of a bug just because I knew exactly how the code was operating in the back end. For another, well, there are many built-in math functions, even in base C sharp. There are many functions that aren't. For example, making a player get knocked away from an enemy. Well, there are many ways to do this with colliders or rigid body force. It can be achieved much simpler using math and just moving the player based on the position of the enemy. While many of these issues can be solved with a basic knowledge of math, some will require more complicated formula. For example, the idle clicker I am designing has a massive amount of math behind it. I have a formula that calculates systems such as how to increment prices based on how many upgrades you have purchased already without using just a simple formula or without using an array. My formula for simply calculating the value of a click runs in a for loop that runs through each upgrade and adds the, it to the value of the coins and multiply. Like so, coin value plus equals coin upgrade amount with an index of i times upgrade levels with an index of i times the coin multiplier, and this is just a bonus multiplier of sorts, times milestone levels. Okay, so to start, just open Unity Hub, click New, it doesn't matter what project you make. You can make it 2D or 3D. And you can call it whatever you want. I've already made this project. It's called Math Intro. Okay, so we're going to want to make a basic script. It, you can call it whatever you want. This will just be for testing, so I will call it Test. And open it up in Mono Behavior or Visual Studio. So how do we use math and code? It can be as simple as it can be as simple as adding two variables together, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. You can use ints, floats, doubles, or decimals or or any other numeric variable for math. You can use what's called a floating number, which is this right here, which is just a number that is hard coded into the code and you cannot change it you cannot change it anywhere else in the code it will just be only in this one position this is called a magic number and generally it's advised to use as few magic numbers as possible so let's make two ints number 1 and number 2 and this will be number 1 and it will be divided by number 2 if you didn't know this print function here, just prints whatever variable you pass into it to the console. You can print off numbers or strings or even a game object's name. Okay, so just to test it out, let's add these two numbers together. Let's add a serialized field attribute here so we can edit in the inspector. And we will just drag this onto the camera. So click on your camera here. And you can put these values to whatever you want. See 5 and 20. Hit play. And there you go, it prints off 25. Okay, so that's everything for this video, and I'll see you in the next video.